Palm Sunday. Friends, Jesus said to his disciples, I need to go to Jerusalem. I've got some important things to do. I want to celebrate Passover with you there. Will you come with me? Sure, said the disciples. Passover is a great holiday, such good food, and what a wonderful story Passover celebrates. The exodus of God's people, the Israelites from Egypt. It's good to be with friends and family at Passover. So Jesus and his friends started to go to Jerusalem. When they got close to the city, Jesus said, I'd like two of you to go borrow, borrow a donkey in the next village over. Please tell the owner I need it. He'll understand. When the two friends came back with the donkey, Jesus climbed on his back and rode down the hill into the city of Jerusalem. The disciples followed behind him. Suddenly, they found themselves in a parade. People were singing and shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna, here comes God's king. Hosanna, praise God. People all over heard the shouting and singing, and they joined the parade too. Hundreds of people, thousands of people. They started taking off their coats and laying them on the ground for Jesus and the donkey to walk on. They pulled palm branches down from the trees, waved them as they sang. Then they threw their palms on the ground to make a path for Jesus. The crowd gave Jesus a royal welcome as he rode into the city, just like a king. But Jesus was a very different king. He was a king of peace. Not everyone understood that. Jesus was not at all what they were expecting. They thought the crowd was too loud and the parade was getting too big. Who is this man? Someone asked. What's going on here? Asked another. The crowd answered, This is Jesus, God's king. He has come to save us. Some of the religious leaders murmured, Hush, Jesus. Tell your friends to be quiet. It's way too loud here. But Jesus said, We can try to make these people be quiet, but that wouldn't make a difference because today the whole earth is celebrating. Hosanna! Jesus is the King! Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and at my church we celebrate something called Palm Sunday, and that's, that's where we celebrate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, which was a really important city. And the prophets in the Old Testament, they said that the King of Israel, the coming Messiah, the Savior, was going to enter Jerusalem riding on a donkey's colt. And that's exactly what Jesus did. And, and so all the people, they were, they were putting their coats down on the ground so the donkey wouldn't step in the dirt. And they got some branches that they, that they laid down on the ground also. And they were waving them and they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, glory to God in the highest. And they were shouting all these things, you know, excited that the King of Israel had come. Jesus Christ was the King. And they were so excited about this. But the problem is that they thought Jesus was coming to save them from the Romans. You see, Israel had been taken over by a another nation called the Romans, and they, they did not honor God. They didn't worship God. They had their own false gods that they worshiped, and, and they took over Israel, and they were in charge of them now, and the Israelites did not like this. They wanted to be in charge of themselves. They wanted to be able to have leaders who honored God. So they thought Jesus was going to come in, and he was going to save them from the Romans. But that's not what Jesus came to save them from. No, Jesus came to save them and us from sin and death which is a much bigger deal than, than just the Romans, you know. This is huge. Jesus' plan, Jesus' mission was so much more important than just one country taking over another country. He was here to save the whole world. And the Israelites were fine with calling him their king so long as he was going to do things their way. But when he started saying things that they didn't agree with or starting to tell them that they needed to live a way that they didn't want to live, you know, when he started telling them that they needed to live God's way and not just their way, they abandoned him. One day they said he was their king, and the next day they said he's not our king because he wasn't going to do things their way. And I don't know about you, but if there's a group of people that says, this is our king, just so long as he does things our way, that's not really him being the king, that's them being their own king. And we can see the Israelites doing this, you know, where they, one minute they are honoring Jesus as their king, and then the next minute they're literally having him killed. We can look at them and say, man, you guys were, were really foolish. But you know what? I can be just like the Israelites. And I think you can too. I think we all can. You know, it's so easy to honor Jesus as our king when we're at church. You know, maybe once or twice a week. You know, we get together with our friends and we're singing and praising God and we're learning about God in a lesson time and we're, we're having a time of fellowship and we're all, these, all these fun things that we do at church and it's really easy to, to view God as king at church. Again, once or twice a week. Maybe you even go to church every single day, but that's only like an hour or two every day. But it can be so easy when we leave church, to live like we're the king, not Jesus, to do things our own way. 
you know, Jesus, the stuff that Jesus tells us to do is not always easy, and it's definitely not always the thing that we want to do, you know? And Jesus says to love your enemies. That's not something that's easy to do. It can be so easy to live as if Jesus doesn't even exist, and so easy to live our lives as if he's not the king, but we are the king of our own lives. And so it's awesome. It's totally cool for you to praise God at church. I'm definitely not saying that there's anything wrong with that. That's an amazing thing that God wants us to do. But my challenge to you guys today, and it's not just for you, but it's for me too, is that we would honor Jesus Christ as the king of our lives every single day. That we would make the choice to submit to him, even when what he tells us to do is not necessarily what we want to do. That's when it's most important to submit to him, is those times when it's difficult. Jesus is not the king who's going to do everything our own way. He's the king who's going to do things the right way, his way. Jesus Christ is the king we need. So let's all shout Hosanna and glorify Jesus as the king of kings. Hello, Neil. Why the long face? Well, Big Ed, the horse, has been making fun of me, saying that donkeys are stupid and that they aren't as important as horses. That wasn't very nice of him. But it's true. When did you ever hear anyone important riding on a donkey? Well, actually, Jesus came riding into Jerusalem on a donkey on the very first Palm Sunday. Really? Yes, and crowds of people came out to meet him and they waved palm branches and they shouted, Hosanna! Imagine carrying Jesus. That must have been such an honour for that donkey. All donkeys have the mark of a cross on their backs. And some people say that it's because a donkey once carried Jesus. I know a song about Palm Sunday. Can you help me to sing it, Neil? Of, Of course. Can the people at home sing along too? Of course they can. The words will come up on the screen for them. Let's go! He'll be riding on a donkey when he comes. Clip, clop! He'll be riding on a donkey when he comes. Clip, clop! He'll be riding on a donkey. Riding on a donkey. Riding on a donkey when he comes. Oh, we'll all go out to meet him when he comes. Hello, Jesus. Oh, we'll all go out to meet him when he comes. Hello, Jesus. Oh, we'll all go out to meet him. I'll go out to meet him. I'll go out to meet him when he comes. We'll be waving our palm branches when he comes. Praise God! We'll be waving our palm branches when he comes. Praise God! We'll be waving our palm branches. Waving our palm branches. Waving our palm branches when he comes. We'll be shouting out Hosanna when he comes. We're saved! We'll be shouting out Hosanna when he comes. We're saved! We'll be shouting out Hosanna. Shouting out Hosanna. Shouting out Hosanna when he comes. Hooray!